In the vast expanse of our solar system, approximately 880 million miles away from Earth, exists a celestial enigma that has fascinated astronomers for centuries. Welcome to the mysterious realm of Sachin, a gas giant with its own share of secrets. From the intriguing hexagonal pattern at its north pole to strange phenomena like rain falling from space onto Sachin, this remarkable planet continually captivates our curiosity. Moreover, recent discoveries have raised concerns about the future of Saturn's iconic rings. Our journey to understand Satan began in 1979 with the first close-up images captured by the Pioneer 11 spacecraft. However, it wasn't until the arrival of the Cassini mission in 2004 that we started to uncover the true wonders of this ringed world. Yet, Saturn occasionally reveals new secrets, emphasizing how much we still have to learn about it. Sachin, the second largest planet in our solar system, possesses a core about half its radius, weighing 12 to 20 times more than Earth. What's astonishing is that Saturn's density is so low that it would float in water if we had a reservoir large enough to contain it. Unlike most other planets that appear nearly spherical, Saturn is exceptionally flattened due to its rapid rotation, making it bulge at its equator and flatten at its poles. It measures roughly 75,000 miles in diameter at its equator and spans around 68,000 miles from pole to pole. Saturn's distinct bands of yellow and gold, visible from Earth, are a result of superfast winds in its upper atmosphere, clocking in at a remarkable 1,100 miles per hour. But when observed closely, Saturn reveals a peculiar feature, a colossal hexagonal pattern spanning about 20,000 miles in diameter. This awe-inspiring hexagon seems almost artificial, with its striking transition from a blue shade to a golden hue. Within this hexagon, situated at Saturn's North Pole, a massive hurricane thrives, dwarfing Earth's hurricanes by 50%. Numerous reddish vortices surround this colossal storm, moving in harmony with the hexagonal jet stream. What makes this hexagon even more intriguing is its resilience, while earthly hurricanes last a mere week, Saturn's hexagon has endured for decades, possibly even centuries. The formation of this monster storm involves deep thermal convection, where heat transfer generates atmospheric flows that lead to the creation of polar cyclones and an eastward jet pattern. Deep beneath the cloud tops, these atmospheric features combine to create the unique hexagonal shape we observe at Saturn's North Pole, a phenomenon unseen anywhere else in the universe. Sachin continues to surprise with its mysterious spokes in its rings. Initially spotted during the Voyager mission, these ghostly features became even stranger during the Cassini mission when no signs of them were detected. Researchers found that these spokes generally appeared dark when viewed from above but bright when observed from below. While the exact cause of these strakes remains uncertain, it is believed that they may originate from dust particles in the rings that separate from icy chunks, floating independently above the rest of the icy boulders. The interaction of Saturn's magnetic field with the solar wind might play a role in creating and dissipating these features. Saturn boasts the largest and most distinguishable rings in our solar system, consisting of seven main rings named in order of discovery. They begin approximately 4,300 miles from the planet's core and extend outward for an astonishing distance. Saturn's rings are incredibly flat, with specific areas reaching a thickness of about 0.6 miles, while the main rings measure a mere 32 feet in thickness. These rings house a diverse range of particles, from tiny icy grains resembling dust to substantial fragments as large as houses, even some reaching the size of mountains. But interestingly, Saturn's rings weren't always known to us. Calilio, nearly four centuries ago, observed the elongated bulges around Saturn, which we now recognize as its magnificent rings. However, he couldn't discern their intricate details, mistaking them for celestial bodies on either side of the planet. Today, we understand much about Saturn's rings, but they continue to defy our expectations. The particles within these rings, made mostly of water ice, are delicately balanced between Saturn's gravitational pull and their orbital velocity. Researchers have long pondered their origin, and recent studies suggest that Saturn may not have had these rings for more than 90% of its lifespan. One theory suggests that the rings might have formed when small icy moons orbiting Saturn collided, possibly triggered by passing asteroids or comets. 
Another intriguing idea suggests that the rings could be the remnants of dwarf planets that met their demise in Saturn's vicinity, forming the mysterious rings encircling the gas giant. Saturn's ring system is a sight to behold, but it is also transient. It is estimated that these majestic rings, the age of which is approximately 100 to 400 million years, will eventually disappear under the influence of the sun's radiation and plasma clouds caused by space rock impacts. Every 30 minutes, Saturn loses an Olympic swimming pool's worth of water from its rings due to ring rain, a cascade of essy particles that descends onto the planet's atmosphere. This ring rain consists of various chemicals, including water, butane, propane, methane, ammonia, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and molecular nitrogen. It's a complex mixture that, over time, could potentially alter the composition of Saturn's atmosphere. While it's not enough to support life, Saturn's moons might have different possibilities. Saturn's moons, especially Enceladus, hold intriguing secrets that could lead us to the discovery of extraterrestrial life. Recently, Saturn once again claimed its title as the king of moons in our solar system. A remarkable 62 new satellites have been discovered orbiting this ringed giant, bringing the grand total to an impressive 145 moons. But what truly piques the interest of scientists are two of Saturn's moons, Titan and Enceladus. Both of these celestial bodies possess at least one critical ingredient that sparks the imagination when it comes to the possibility of life. Titan is famous for its thick atmosphere, which is rich in organic molecules, including complex hydrocarbons. These hydrocarbons are like the building blocks of life on Earth. Now, let's talk about Titan's unique qualities. It boasts an atmosphere that's thick and dense, much like the atmosphere of a planet, resembling Earth in some aspects. This atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen, which is quite similar to what we breathe on Earth. But that's not all. Titan also has rivers, lakes, and seas on its surface. However, unlike our planet's water-filled bodies, Titan's liquid reservoirs are made up of methane and ethane. Methane is a compound associated with the metabolic processes of many organisms, serving as a source of energy. Now, before we get too carried away with the idea of life on Titan, let's consider the harsh reality of this moon. It's incredibly cold, with temperatures plummeting to about minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. This kind of extreme cold would make it almost impossible for life as we know it, which relies on liquid water, to survive there. But scientists have a fascinating alternative theory. They've been looking at a molecule called acrylonitrile. This molecule has a unique property. It can potentially form stable and flexible structures, somewhat similar to cell membranes on Earth. These structures could be as thin as sheets and could shape themselves into small, hollow spheres known as exotosomes. These exotosomes could act as microscopic containers for storing and transporting various substances. What's particularly exciting is that the ALNA Observatory has detected significant amounts of acrylonitrile molecules in Titan's atmosphere, up to 2.8 parts per billion. Scientists believe that over time, these chemicals may have made their way to Titan's surface. In fact, they've calculated that in Titan's Ligiomere, one of its lakes, there could be enough acrylonitrile to create roughly 10 million exoposomes in every milliliter of liquid. To put that in perspective, it's even more abundant than the approximately 1 million bacteria found in a milliliter of coastal ocean water here on Earth. Now, here's where things get really exciting. In 2027, NASA plans to launch its Dragonfly drone mission to Titan. This mission aims to delve deeper into the mysteries of this intriguing moon and could finally provide us with answers about whether life, in some form, could exist on such a celestial body. Until then, who knows? We might discover even more candidates for the existence of extraterrestrial life right here in our own solar system.